today I'm going to show you how to get a lot of money with the CEO special crates and VIP missions. So we're starting out here in star mode because I'm going to show you how to get into a public lobby by yourself. So obviously the first thing to do is join GTA Online. Just go straight in. And when we load in, I'll show you the next step. Alright guys, we are finally loaded into a session. I actually had to restart my game because it would not load me into a session. Um, but it finally worked. So, <clears throat> this is where it all starts. So as you can see, I'm in a public session with 15 people. I really don't want to do any missions in a public session with this many people. So, what you can do, this is for Xbox. I don't know, there's probably a way to do it for PS4, but... PS4 users, if you know how, comment down below the way to do it. But on Xbox, what you have to do is press the home button, go all the way to the right to settings, and go down to network, go to network settings, and then press te test net type. This will test your, your net type, and if it says this, something went wrong, it looks like your net type is unavailable right now, and it says game ready for GTA 5, you know you did it right. So basically just back all the way out, and as you can see, everybody left. I'm in a public session by myself. And now you can start doing basically any of the like delivery missions you want without anyone harming you. Um, I have had people join before, but it's, it's normally only one person and they haven't ever harmed me, so that could just be random. But we're going to get into this. I am about to fill up my small warehouse. I have my medium warehouse all filled up and my small warehouse needs two more crates. A good thing to note is that the amount of money you'll spend and the amount of money you'll really get from selling it all. So um, one crate is two thousand dollars and so this is the slowest method but it will give you the most money in return from exporting it all or, or selling it whatever. Um, and then this two crates, $8,000, this is like the medium. Um, like it's, it's a balance between the three crates and the, and the one crate. Uh, I think this is just the best for doing like solo. And then there's three crates down here, which I don't have enough space for three crates, but, um, that is the fastest, but you'll waste the most money and not get as much money as you would with these two in return. So that's just a good thing to, to know. So, so this will take the longest, this is the middle, and then the first, the, the $18,000 one will take the shortest amount of time. So now that I got my medical supplies, we're gonna head outside. It looks like it's gonna be on, on some water, okay. So I'm just gonna exit to ground, and there is one thing that is really useful for this which is a buzzard um, they are kind of expensive like 1.75 million but it's definitely worth it oh right, yeah so it's, it's in a boat there's a boat icon over there so you can do this with um, like a savage but to get the savage you'd have to go up to your your assistant and then order it from them, which the Savage costs like 3000 But with a buzzard, if you buy it, you can just go down to your street and call it in for free, just right here. So you're wasting a lot of money in the long run with that. And it's just a really good helicopter overall. It's really fast. It has rockets. Um, and it's just small. It can fit in small spots. So I'm going to deliver this and then I will I will continue with the video after. So a good thing to remember when you're doing these missions like on water or on land is that you do not have to get out of your vehicle to pick up a package like you would with like a briefcase or something in one of the like like rooftop rumble. Um, that's just an example but you don't have to get out of your vehicle so it just it saves time. Another good thing to know that will save you some time is if you if you have a water mission like this like just like here and you have a helicopter you do not need a boat to get a package that's floating in the water all I have to do is just hover right above it get really close to the water 
and then it'll automatically pick up for you. Alright, so now I've delivered both crates. And next what you're gonna wanna do is there's gonna be a timer on the like the next time you can buy crates, it's like five minutes I think. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to Secure Serve CEO VIP work and start up a headhunter. So you're gonna have to eliminate these four targets. You've probably done this before. Um, but this basically will bypass the five minute timer because normally it only takes about like five or you know four or five minutes if you have a buzzard like this um, and it will give you back money from what you spent on the crates so it gives you about 20,000 20 to 22,000 normally so if you spend, if you get the, the two crates, you're spending 8,000 on the crates, and you're getting like 22,000 in return. So that's like 14,000 that you make back from spending 8,000. I know my math's terrible, quick maths, but you get the point. You get more money back than you spend. And it's, it's really easy if you have a buzzard like this. Um, you can use a Hydra too. I've seen people do that. Um, because if you put the landing gear out and you stay in like flying mode, you can go really slow, which is good for taking out stationary targets and ones that are moving really slow in a car. One more thing to remember is that your assistant can give you free snacks. So when you're in a mission, just use as many snacks as you need. Like don't feel like wasting snacks because you can just get them for free right after the mission is complete super easy with these because just like that 21,500 I just launched one rocket um, so what I mean by getting back to the office is that you know obviously you can get back there and start up more CEO work but if you if you have a helicopter oh yeah see it's, it's failing but if you have a helicopter and you land on top of the building like you if you hover over your helipad and then it'll say like press right on the d-pad to land and enter office if you do that it will repair your helicopter for you so it'll be set to go for the next mission so when you're done with the VIP work what you can do is go back to your office and start up another CEO special crate mission um, and then once once that's done it'll probably only take you about like five minutes um, if you have a helicopter you can either do sightseer or uh, hostile takeover. Hostile takeover will get you about 15,000 and sightseer will get you about 20,000 but you, you're gonna have to travel th like a lot further for sightseer and then hostile takeover you can choose where you want to um, get the package from. So that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it will help you out 